Good morning, and, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. Please silence your phones. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch, and our entrance chant is, O oh, praise my soul the Lord, number 677 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. As we continue our Advent journey, today we look at the Magnificat, the beautiful hymn of praise, and Mary's journey to Elizabeth. Let us pray today and, and ask God's forgiveness for the times that we have been had a lack of hospitality for others, a lack of concern and compassion for the stranger and the visitor. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners, Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie May 
Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who, seeing the human race fallen into death, will to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervor may merit his company as their Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Samuel. When Hannah had weaned her son Samuel, she took him up with her, along with a three-year-old bull, a measure of flour, and a skin of wine. She brought him to the house of the Lord in Shiloh, and the child was young. Then they slaughtered the bull and brought the child to Eli. And Hannah said, O oh my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who was standing here in your presence, praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me the petition that I made to him. Therefore, I have lent this child to the Lord. As long as he lives, he is given to the Lord. Hannah left Samuel there for the Lord. The word of the Lord. The response to Luke 1, my soul shall exult in my God. My soul shall exult in my God. My soul shall exult in my God. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. My soul shall exalt in my God. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is His name. His mercy is for those who fear Him from generation to generation. My soul shall exalt in my God. The Lord has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away hungry empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. My soul shall exalt in my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Halleluj
Gospel according to Luke. In those days, Mary, Mary set out to visit Elizabeth. After hearing her greeting, Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God's mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. The Lord has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his descendants forever. And Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months, then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning's Gospel reading is the prayer that we have come to know as the Magnificat. It is prayed every evening by those who pray the evening prayer of the Church. In the opening part of the prayer, Mary praises God for what God has done for her. He has looked upon his lowly servant. Mary sees herself as the humble servant of the Lord. She is aware that by the standards of the age, she had no status or standing at all. Yet she is also aware that God chose her for a very special role. She was to be the mother of God's son, Jesus. In the remainder of her prayer, Mary recognized that God's choice of her, someone whom the world would consider lowly and of no consequence, is in keeping with how God is related to his people in the past. It is the lowly that God has exalted. It is the hungry that he has filled with good things. In contrast, the proud of heart, the princes of this world, are cast down. Mary's prayer recognizes that it is only those who are aware of their need of God, the poor in spirit, we call them, those who know their poverty before God, who will experience God's saving presence, God's helping hand. At this time of the year, we are invited to come before the Lord in our poverty, in our neediness, like Mary, like the shepherds at the time of Jesus' birth. If we do so, we too will know the joy of his saving help. At Christmas, we acknowledge the great things that God has done for us by sending God's Son Jesus into the world. A great deal has come to be associated with the Feast of Christmas. However, at the heart of this feast, is the acknowledgement of the gift that God has given to us in Jesus, Son of God. We acknowledge that gift and we give thanks for it. Christmas is a celebration of God's greatness and generosity. We approach the feast of Christmas hungry for God's gift of Jesus, the bread of life. We approach this feast out of a sense of our poverty and emptiness, knowing our need to be filled with God's presence and God's coming. Mary herself was one of the lowly, one of the poor in spirit who hungered for what only God could give. In these difficult days of the church, we acknowledge this feast of Christmas in a spirit of poverty and humility, trusting in the great things that God can do for all of us. Our prayers of intercession today. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis and Peter, our Bishop, and all those who lead and guide our church in these days, we pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world, especially in areas like the Middle East, Ukraine, and parts of Africa. We pray to the Lord. We pray for an end to violence among our young people. We especially pray for all those who were killed in Prague in the shooting yesterday. 
We pray for peace in our communities and our cities. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick recommended to our prayers. We pray for Faith Nuna, for Christopher Anthony and Chelsea Coombs, all those who are recovering from illness. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, we remember all of our loved ones during this time of year. We pray especially today for John and Margaret Power, Corinne Tungate, and John Quigg. For all these and all those who have died in the peace of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. We also pray to, for Kay Keogh, one of our great parishioners who is, um, Kay is older, but she's still hanging on, and we pray for her in her journey. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and answer all the prayers we have in our hearts. We make them in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, for the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries that we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophet foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. So with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle St. John the Baptist and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. We pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we share that peace of Christ now with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is Bread for the World, 6.1 in Celebrate in Song. Bread for the world, a world of hunger, wine for all peoples, people who thirst. May we who eat be bread for others, may we who drink pour out our love. Bread for the world. Let us pray. May reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes, and merit the rewards of the blessed through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God.
Reminder that the masses this weekend at uh, Saturday will be five, Sunday at ten, and then of course the Christmas Eve masses on Sunday night. Uh, Christmas Eve will be at five, eight, and twelve, and then on Christmas Day mass will be at ten. Our missioning hymn is "O Come, Divine Messiah," number three hundred and ten in the Catholic Book of Worship. Savior, hey. 